Sher Hao lowered his head, giving the stone table and wine jar a look. It was simple and ordinary looking, but the jar opening released chaotic energy as well as wisps of immortal mist. There would be something tremendous that would happen if he lifted it up? Sher Hao raised his head, looking towards that woman, wishing to capture some clues from her eyes. However, she was extremely quiet and calm, not revealing any emotions, no difference to be found at all. You should have obtained quite a few things just now. How do you feel? The woman spoke. She wasn't a stunning beauty, but there was a peaceful type of beauty that transcended this world to her. Great worlds, gods and devils in the heavens, endless profound mysteries, everything vast like the sea. Sure how sad. The moment he closed his eyes, he could still recall the taste of the immortal wine. In that instant, it was as if he experienced the little cauldron, Dao Pagoda, or Spear, and others leap into his mouth again, turning into symbols and displaying the profound mysteries of ancient scriptures. He indeed experienced many things, this experience priceless. In that instant, he felt the illusion of sprouting wings and ascending, to the extent where he almost felt like he was transcending. Only, when he thought about it again, his expression slowly changed, gradually becoming serious, and then turning pale white. Why is everything fading? Sherhao's body trembled, trying his best to recall those experiences, but many things became blurry, unable to remember them. I already said that the things you obtained won't benefit you. Even if you accepted all of the inheritances, it would only be recreating us. Only if you all walk on different paths, break through everything that already exists one day, would the immortal ancient methods you drank have any meaning. Only then would you be able to compare and verify the two. The woman replied, How could a single cup be enough to verify? A jar is nothing more than a dozen or so cups, and it's all man-made anyway, too far from the true glorious immortal ancient great era. Sure how said, reaching out towards the wine jar. You are too self-confident. The woman revealed a rare serious expression, her pure white arms raised up, stopping his hand. Am I not allowed to? Sure how asked, his gaze clear. You can, but I have to explain everything first so you won't feel regret. The woman warned. If Sure how didn't meet the qualifications and tried to touch the wine jar, he would definitely turn into ashes. I am willing to give it a try. Sure how is quite confident. If he couldn't even satisfy these conditions, then how is he supposed to survive in the coming heaven and earth chaos? Hear me out. If you meet the qualifications, it will only be even more frightening, difficult to emerge from this alive. It will trigger a heaven-shocking tremendous change. The woman was incredibly serious, completely different from her previous calmness. Sure how was stupefied. Regardless of whether he met the qualifications, it was still an almost guaranteed death situation. Then what was the point of him even bothering? In the latter situation, there is a path of life, but it is only a possibility that we inferred, not something we are sure of existing or not. If it does, then it would just be too wonderful, this woman said. And? Sure how looked into her intelligent eyes that were clear like water. His appearance was reflected in them. If I manage to live, are there great benefits? Sure how asked. For you, only by making it through this trial will there be a chance of escaping this great era's disaster. The young lady replied calmly, recovering her quiet and reserved nature. Great era disaster? Sure how frowned, his heart greatly shaken. Was this era still going to wither away in the end? Have you thought things through? The woman asked. He remained silent for a long time, not making a sound or replying. Sure how was completely quiet, but in the end, he still nodded, saying, I've made up my mind. The girl withdrew her pure white jade-like slender hand. She sat across from him, quietly watching him, no longer saying anything. Dong. Between heaven and earth, it was as if a time immortal seed was struck, releasing a long and drawn-out ringing noise that seemed to resound through all of time, ringing through the heavens and ten thousand realms. This was the feeling Sure how felt from touching the wine cup. That voice was so loud even the deaf could hear, ringing within the soul, sounding in the primordial spirit. His body trembled greatly, feeling as if his hand was cracking apart, about to scatter into ashes. At this moment, his mind felt a blankness. Could it be that he couldn't even pass this trial? That woman's expression also changed, feeling extremely nervous. Was another one going to fall here? Wing. The wine jar shook, and then the chaotic energy and immortal mist surged. Sure how's hand finally stabilized, no longer continuing to crack apart. He released a soft grunt, 
using the Willow Deity's technique to restore his injured body. Then, he fiercely grabbed the wine jar. It began to shake violently, releasing honglonglong sounds, making these metal ruins shake in response, the stars in the heavens seemingly all trembling and shaking in disorder. Sure how grabbed the wine jar. The void was blasted through on the spot, as if he had provoked some type of taboo. This was too different from when the woman touched the wine jar, the disturbance too great. Thunder crashed down endlessly, all of it carrying chaotic light. However, now wasn't the time for him to think too much. After raising the wine jar, he immediately began to gulp down the alcohol, wishing to drink it all. The ruptured void gradually became calm again, the thunder gradually disappearing. It was quite strange. The woman was stupefied. How could it be like this? It was completely different from what she had originally thought. Where was the great changes? Nothing happened at all. It was too calm. This didn't really make sense. Nothing happened? Sure how gave that woman a look while drinking the wine. Then, he couldn't be bothered with so much anymore, because the various weapons and creature figures, all types of scriptures continuously appeared. It was like a world, a great era, the scenes unfolding on a grand scale. Heh <laughs> heh. A laughter abruptly sounded, a bit cold, a bit soul-trembling. It was too sudden. It had just become quiet and peaceful again. Why was there this type of laughter sound that sounded again? Moreover, impossible to tell where it came from. Not even the woman who was seated next to the stone table could find any traces, not detecting anyone. It's coming. Even someone with as mysterious of a background as her couldn't help but tremble. The space between her brows split apart, a beautiful vertical eye appearing, carefully examining the void, and then gazing towards the cosmos sea of stars. In that instant, a streak of divine light rushed out from the space between her brows, able to peer through the nine heavens, probe the nine layers of hell. It was dazzling and brilliant, piercing through the starry sky. Despite this being the case, she still couldn't find anything. Hehe, <laughs> the laughter was still there, still carrying a wave of coldness. It spoke, saying, finally found you. These words made sure how shiver inwardly. Who was this? Why was it looking for him? Where was it? Why couldn't he sense it? He always had confidence in his own spiritual senses, yet now, he was completely helpless, unable to detect anything. Your true body is in the endless past, still not truly appearing, yet can already release a divine awareness? The woman spoke slowly. She stared forward, as if she could peer through the raging river of history. Sure how immediately raised his head, feeling a bad premonition. The void was rupturing, the light of time scattering. Light rained down. Endless primal chaos breaking apart. An indistinct figure stood at the limits of heaven and earth. In front of them, the sun, moon, and stars moved about, bringing with it sky-covering primal chaos. It stepped over the river of time, arriving from the distance, terrifying beyond belief. The woman was in despair. Even someone as powerful as her sat there without moving, not showing any sign of retaliating. Her face was full of bitterness and unwillingness. The woman released a light sigh, saying, Is there a need for you all to go so far? A small fella like this can even make you all take action. Even with so many years in between, you all still don't hesitate to suffer tremendous karma, bearing the risk of even falling yourself just to eliminate a sapling? That figure was still indistinct, extremely indistinct, but one could see that he was big and tall, as if an unmatched imperial monarch was moving about. Every movement he made was majestic. He walked on the river of time, his hands moving the stars in the heavens, moving through 10,000 regions. Even though this person still hadn't arrived, that type of aura was too terrifying. The mountains and seas dried up, the sun falling with his movements. The aura he released could destroy everything. Sure how was shaken up, feeling as if he fell into the underworld, his body and mind about to collapse. What kind of person was this, actually coming from the endless past to kill him? For you all, time is like a great river that surges forward, something you don't dare go against out of fear of being affected by karma and die because of it. But for me, it is merely a ring, and not a long river. There is still a great price that has to be paid, but it is not impossible to go against. This person's voice sounded, not showing anger, but rather quite indifferent. However, there was a type of tremendous dignity that shook the past, present, and future. Are you all scared? Not all that powerful as we imagined actually not stinting to do something like this, all to kill a sapling. The woman said, not fear, but rather doing something along the way. 
Since I am in the endless past and felt some type of response, why shouldn't I just get rid of it along the way? That male replied. When Sher Hao received the true confirmation, he really was stupefied. This person was in the endless past, yet already sensed something, detecting his existence? What kind of heaven-defying skill was this? This type of person was powerful to a ridiculous degree, simply too ridiculous. You make it sound good, but isn't this the conclusion all of you came to together? How could it just be you alone? The woman said with a cold laugh. Just something done in passing, already killed more than one. There were fireworks that erupted in history. Even though they were beautiful, it is still temporary. That male replied. Sure how's body went ice cold. This was a cruel and terrifying conclusion. He didn't even have the chance to resist, just a thought from the other party able to kill him. The most important thing was that they existed in the endless past, not in this era. This made him feel a sense of despair, just too helpless. Your actions are disturbing too much, forcefully turning things around. Do you not fear the greatest killing disaster? The woman said coldly. Is there? It's not like this is the first time. The male said. You came from the past to forcefully kill him. What if someone came from the future? As long as there is anyone related to him, there will definitely be heaven-shocking karma. Are you not scared? The woman said. That is indeed a possibility. However, will those who are related to him be that strong? If there is, then I'll just get rid of them in passing as well. The male said. Haha, you are too confident. How could anyone you all crossed over the river of history to target be simple? There has to be a path of life. The woman said. Is that so? Let me see if there is such an existence. That male was about to take action. Once he took action by crossing time, heaven and earth would collapse, triggering world-shocking changes. Hong Long Long. Suddenly, at the limits of the horizon, there was a violent sound, a figure appearing, crushing the past, present, and future, breaking the long river of time, appearing just like that. What? There really is someone? That was a woman, extremely indistinct, carrying a rain of light and chaotic energy, her figure long and slender, clothes fluttering about, her face covered by a face mask, currently looking down on the starry sky. There really was someone. Someone related to Sherhow. She didn't belong to this world, not belonging to the past. She treaded on the long river of time, bathed in ascension light, endless chaotic energy surrounding her as she overlooked the vast skies of the endless past. There really was someone who dared stop my might, ha ha, ha ha ha. In the distance, that large and tall figure that moved the sun, moon, and stars as he moved stood in the primal chaos, releasing a great laughter. When this laugh sounded, the stars in his surroundings began to tremble and fall, a few great stars even directly blasting apart, releasing light like fireworks. In the end, everything turned to ashes. This type of power was incomparable. The heavens split apart, great black cracks extended outwards. Black holes appeared one after another, the stars in the sky all becoming dim. Sure, how was also quite shocked. There really was this type of person in this world having an unordinary relationship with him? She actually appeared just like this. He originally thought that if there really was anyone, it would definitely be the Willow Deity. But now, this didn't seem to be the case. This also made him feel a bit cold inside, feeling a wave of chilliness, as well a bit of sadness. Could it be that the scene he foresaw really was going to come true? When that day came, the universe would be overturned, experiencing the vicissitudes of time, everything no longer existing, he would stand at the very top of this world alone, only accompanied by the divine Tao, as well as a lonely and unmatched silence as he faced the withered boundless world. At that time, he would be the only one left. There was a scorched black willow tree in the backdrop behind him. Just how sad and bleak of a scene was this? What enemies, old friends, loved ones, friends, love, hate, passion, hatred, none of it would exist. In a daze, at that moment, he had previously even seen that he had already entered a path he had to take alone, one without a way back, yet the future also unknown. This woman wasn't Willow Deity, was it someone he met on that path? During this moment of imminent death, faced against an unmatched monarch from the endless years ago, someone came to help him. Sure, how didn't know whether he should laugh or cry. His eyes carried tears, carried grief. There were no old friends left in the path ahead, it was actually a woman he didn't recognize. The laughter and playfulness he displayed now, his frivolous behavior, perhaps might be replaced by solemnness. 
Many things already explained that he was doomed to feel great grief. When the day came that he was no longer as lively as he was now, becoming reserved and serious, facing the great world alone, just how sad would that be? Just what exactly was going to happen? He felt his mind going cold just from thinking this. He was definitely going to have to face separations of life and death again and again, watch those he was familiar with go on their way one after another, pass away. There was clearly someone coming to save him, yet right now, sure how felt so brokenhearted. It was because he knew that many things were going to happen, feeling a great pressure inside, feeling like he was going to suffocate. I believe that the future can be changed. What I saw wasn't true. Sure how said quietly. That woman was extremely quiet standing on the long river of time, surrounded by primal chaos, her tall and slender body reserved and unmoving. Only the snow-white long dress moved with the astral winds. Not even the jet-black beautiful hair moved, naturally scattered down on her chest and back. She looked like she was carved from a piece of everlasting jade, incredibly beautiful. They all wanted to see her true appearance, but they all failed. That face mask was extremely unusual, even more extraordinary than an immortal artifact. It couldn't be seen through, not even the heavenly eyes enough, completely ineffective against it. The bronze mask looked quite strange, the expression like it was crying, yet it wasn't, laughing, yet it wasn't, leaving others with a deep impression from a single glance. It looked like a smile, yet carried tear stains, within the beauty also sadness. Immediately afterwards, the mask changed, turning into a ring. It was extremely simple and unadorned, natural and returning to the truth, rising and falling before her, carrying chaotic light and mists. Despite this being the case, that woman's appearance still couldn't be seen. Even her body was extremely indistinct, as if she came from beyond the world, not in the past, present, or future. Then, the ring changed again, turning into an immortal sword, similarly silent, containing restrained killing intent, displaying that this woman wasn't truly silent and unmoving but instead had an aura that could engulf mountains and rivers. Then, the immortal sword changed, turning into a great Tao pitcher, taking in and sending out the stars in the heavens, surrounded by endless immortal energy. Eventually, it returned to being a mask, quietly returning to that woman's face. Using the most ordinary bronze as the artifact of origin, condensing and forming an immortal artifact, and then adding immortal gold essence to create an unmatched supreme treasure, are you trying to show off? In the distance, that imperial monarch-like male whose every movement moved the sun, moon, and stars spoke, exuding a natural might. The stellar seas of the cosmos were trembling and rumbling as well. He was from endless time ago, a single will able to blast down endless stars. The woman remained calm, still not saying a word, not expressing anything in response. Her eyes were clear like water, bits of light gradually appearing at this time, looking at sure how. Regardless of whether it was sure how, the woman sitting with him, or that terrifying male, they all shivered inwardly. What a confident woman, only paying attention to that youth all this time. Ha ha. The male laughed loudly, his might oppressing this world as he said, it has been so long. Here is buried one after the next for so many years, I don't know how many people there are left who dare face me like this. You are quite an excellent woman, really hope there is a day when I can keep you at my side. He was like a monarch who had found a woman to his liking. This can be called confidence, but could also be called a type of impudence. For this woman to be able to appear here, how could she be treated rudely? Sure enough, the woman shifted her gaze, looking towards him. In addition, resplendent light shone from her eyes, her aura immediately changing, becoming like a female emperor who looked down on this world, her might oppressing the heavens above and earth below. At this moment, a terrifying aura rushed straight at the male, defying the river of time, stirring up tremendous waves. Stars of history were swept down one after another from the heavens. This scene was too frightening, leaving one terrified. Just a wave of aura alone was already like this. The white-clothed woman was peerless and magnificent, able to overlook the heroes of past and present. Just how many great eras, how much time has to pass before a woman like you can appear? In the upper reaches of the long history of time, that woman released a light sigh. Divine light wrapped around him, primal chaos surrounding his figure. Then, his body suddenly erupted with the most terrifying radiance, as if countless suns were crammed together and then burst, ultimately turning into tens of thousands of streaks of the most dazzling light. These were like sky-shocking rainbows, 
descending along the river of time, rushing towards that woman. It was clear that he was now taking action. In that instant, he already displayed who knew how many types of great divine abilities. They all burst forth, hacking towards that woman. Sure Howe's mind was moved, the woman sitting on the stone table across from him the same. Heavenly eyes opened, nervous to the extreme. No one understood better than her how frightening the one who was attacking was. At the lower reaches of the long river, that woman finally moved. Her right hand was raised, spotlessly white like jade, forming a magical imprint before slapping forward. How long? Just the strike alone made heaven and earth shake, the heavenly Tao itself almost bowing down. The void and great Tao all trembled greatly. There were no words spoken, but sure how, and the other two heard words through the great Tao sound. All transformations a mortal art. They understood now. This woman's methods were extraordinary beyond imagination, already reaching an inconceivable level, a type of divine ability able to make the great Tao yield, oppress heaven and earth, make the universe resonate in response. Following the tens of thousands of streaks of light were streak after streak of precious techniques, terrifying and beyond compare. However, at this moment, all of the divine ability natural laws, all of the light collapsed, becoming dim, dissolved before that woman, turning into nothingness. This was a scene that left others speechless. So many great divine abilities, yet all of them came to a grunting stop in that instant, completely wiped out. Sure, how is still comparatively better, because he didn't understand, unable to comprehend that type of cultivation realm. However, things were different for the woman sitting on the other side of the stone table. Her face revealed an expression of shock. This type of unmatched divine ability was continuously released, yet in the end, all of it completely disappeared under a single slap from the white-clad woman? This was like a legend among legends. Is there really such an existence, able to match me? Did you create your methods yourself? I have never seen them before, quite stunning. From the upper reaches of the long river, that male stepped on the sun, moon, and stars, accompanied by primal chaos as he spoke like this. From the word, stunning, this level of existence spoke, it was already enough to prove everything. Needless to say, the white-clothed woman was definitely exceptionally stunning. Otherwise, that existence from endless years past who had experienced era after era wouldn't sigh in admiration like this. Hong, the white-clad woman moved. She looked calm from the outside, but when she truly moved, there was an exceptional domineeringness that truly overlooked all creatures of the world not attaching any importance to anyone, above all of past and present. She removed the mask, and then with a move of her hand, flung it out. That mask turned into a heaven-covering screen, vast and boundless. It moved up the long river of history, rushing at that male. It was clear that she was now taking the initiative to attack, passiveness and weakness clearly not her style. And the male was clearly quite startled. Suddenly, he felt like he might suffer a loss quickly acting in response, no longer appearing as irreverent as before. This mask arrived too quickly, covering heaven and earth, crushing the stars in the heavens, directly covering the male below, heavily suppressing down towards him. Break. The male roared, his palm like a great mountain, incredibly large as it slapped down from above, facing the bronze mass that was as large as the heavens. Right now, he slightly displayed a bit of his true form, his figure grand and heroic as he towered between heaven and earth, entire body covered in armor, even his head like this. A sharp streak of sword-like light flew out from his green eyes. Apart from this, behind him was a long tail, also covered in scales that flickered with ice-cold metallic luster. This was an extremely terrifying creature. He blasted apart the heavens with a single palm. The great stars exploded one after another, turning into the most beautiful and terrifying radiance. Dang. A tremendous noise sounded. The bronze mask covered the heavenly dome, colliding together with that palm, the noise terrifying one down to their soul. That monarch-like male towered between heaven and earth, who knew how many tens of thousands of Zhang in height, standing tall in outer space. The sun, moon, and stars moved about around him, but right now, his arm was moving slightly. That palm didn't break the mask, but rather suffered a lash back that made the gap between his thumb and index finger split apart, bright red blood appearing. Break again. This was precisely the reason why that male's palm shone, producing world-ending radiance. It was boundless, great down natural laws appearing streak after streak, everything rushing into the skies. 
The power this male erupted with was, without a doubt, extremely terrifying and incomparable, simply able to instantly destroy all enemies in this world. When they saw this scene, Sher Hao and the woman on the other side of the stone table both felt nervous, feeling extremely worried. Streak after streak of divine chains of order rushed into the sky, turning into divine rainbows, striking down on that mask, making it shake and release loud noises. It looked like it was going to be smashed apart, truly making them feel tense. The bronze mask shook, but didn't break apart in the end. Moreover, that face mask was still so clear and lifelike, carrying tears within the smile, overlooking that male just like that. Hong. The monarch-like male displayed unmatched fist methods. Within the rumbling sounds, he used who knew how many types of divine abilities, all of these attacks gathering together to bombard the skies. A light noise could be heard. The bronze mask seemed to have revived, releasing a mortal light. Moreover, a teardrop slid onto the ground and then quickly enlarged. When it landed, it had already turned into an ocean. A single teardrop turned into an ocean, this sea dark blue and clear like diamond. Only, it was just too large, sweeping through the heavens, drowning out the stars, boundless without limit. The male standing beneath was directly swallowed up by the sea, completely covered. His entire body shone, forming magical imprints, erupting with endless divine force to break free, moreover releasing the most vicious attacks. Strand after strand of chaotic energy surged, the divine chains of order dense like a spider web as they interweaved in the air. They were everywhere. In the end, black holes arranged themselves, continuously opening up. This place was completely ruined. Primal chaos surged, drowning out this place. Sure how was stupefied, his heart violently jumping. On the other side of him, the woman who was seated across from him was also stupefied. This battle completely exceeded her imagination. The teardrop on that mask possessed such divine might, wrapping around that male, it was just too shocking. Ho! Oh, a roar that shook the heavens and moved the earth tore through the sky, like the angry roar of the most terrifying beast. He struggled free, blasting apart a few stars, making even the heavenly dome dim, about to sever the long river of history. That male stood above the river of time, body shaking violently, mouth roaring continuously. With a great explosive sound, his body seemed to have been ignited, making all of the waters evaporate, turning into white mist. Then, his tail shot into the heavens like a war spear, piercing towards that bronze mask, severing the starry river, piercing through the starry sky. This tail quickly enlarged, simply unstoppable. Strong immortal energy spread from it, frightening to the limit. Moreover, it was covered in armor that was ice cold and frightening. Dong! The face mask moved, collecting away all of the rising mists, gathering another teardrop, at the same time colliding with that tail again. The noise was astonishing. The bronze face mask moved along the long river of history, flying towards the white-clad woman. As it swayed about, brilliant radiance shone, making many stars along the historical path lose radiance. Where do you think you're going? The male was incredibly powerful, like an imperial monarch as he moved. He descended along the long river of time, stepping on stars, making them explode one after another, the scene truly terrifying. The white-clad woman stood in the lower reaches, her feet never moving this entire time. This time, her right arm instead already raised, reaching forward in a perfectly straight manner, her snow-white and sparkling palm slowly pushing forward. Ding! A loud and clear sound rang out. The bronze face mask stopped, no longer flying out. Moreover, at this instant, it released sharp immortal light becoming blurry, undergoing change. Zheng. Exceptional sword energy rushed into the heavens. It turned into an immortal sword, simple and unadorned in appearance at first, but as that slender hand pushed forward, it erupted with sky-piercing light. The matchless immortal sword released blinding divine radiance, hacking forwards. Strand after strand of cold light shot out. Those were divine order, natural laws, great Tao. As for the light released by the sword tip, it exceeded everything, tearing apart Dao laws, hacking apart primal chaos, slicing through everything, resplendent to the limit. In the upper reaches of the long river of history, the expression of the male who was rushing over changed. The bronze face mask released shocking radiance, making his tail become momentarily sluggish. It was precisely during this moment of hesitation that the immortal sword reached him. Dang! Sparks flew in all directions. The sword and the armor-covered tail collided 
flowing light filling the heavens, tearing through the night sky. Resplendent stellar streams were hacked down, exploding here, thus going dim. Then, in the duskiness, sword light erupted, hacking forward, fast to the extreme. The world was under such pressure that even Great Dao was releasing mournful noises. Meanwhile, that male was also roaring. He brandished his two palms and swung his tail, clashing with that sword. Blood trickled down. Even though its tail was covered in armor, comparable to a mortal spear's, there was still a slit opened, almost being cut off. As for his two hands, there was even more bright red blood that fell. You think my blood can be shed without reason? That male didn't get angry, only carrying a type of profoundness. His voice wasn't extremely low, but instead like thunder, carrying a rumbling noise. The blood that scattered down had unwittingly when flowed down along the river of time, turning into resplendent symbols. They appeared in the white-clothed woman's surroundings, forming a world-shocking killing formation. Chi. At this moment, the male's temperament changed, becoming many times more berserk than just now, his aura also becoming much stronger. Regardless of where you are, take my branding first, and then it'll be easy to track you down in the future. The male spoke. He had previously said that he was going to keep this white-clothed woman at his side, and now he was making preparations to do so. It was because he knew that even if he could win here, he couldn't make this woman stay behind. He had to wait for another time. You thought too much. The woman finally spoke, extremely calm like an otherworldly and pure fairy. Only, beneath this type of calmness was a tremendous awe that couldn't be tainted, couldn't be blasphemed. The moment her words sounded, the immortal sword moved, cutting the void. Pong. This sword light scattered, turning into hundreds to thousands of streaks all of them landing on that male's body. In that instant, the male's body shook intensely, his entire body shone. All types of secret methods were displayed at the same time to resist the sword radiance. However, he still couldn't protect his entire body. Trembling Zheng Zheng sounds rang out, King Chang sounds ringing out continuously. The immortal gold armor on his body continuously broke, piece after piece coming off. Blood gushed out from his body again and again. This was a set of rare immortal battle clothes, yet now, it was hacked apart. There were several hundred cracks, all of them shooting out blood. How powerful! There is this type of person in the future. The woman across from Sure How was shocked. She couldn't help but released a light cry. What kind of person was she? Yet right now, she still felt like the white-clad woman was truly stunning. When the sword descended, that monarch-like male was hacked into such a sorry state, his body covered in sword marks continuously taking steps backwards. The more blood that flows from me, the more miserable it will be for my enemies. The male said. He didn't feel a sense of defeat, instead becoming colder and colder. The blood mixed with the long river of time, moving down, more and more released in this manner. It all gathered in the white-clothed woman's surroundings, turning into the most complex patterns, constructing a heaven-shocking killing formation. The white-clad woman raised her hand, making a brushing moment, scattering some of the blood. However, this didn't get rid of all of it, the blood gathering again after being scattered. I am inextinguishable. My blood is also inextinguishable. I will confine and restrict you in this life. These cold words resounded above the river. The white-clothed woman was still completely indifferent. However, this time, she had divine and dignified movements. Her hands formed imprints, light beams condensing into a pitcher. Hong. The mouth of the pitcher shone, releasing endless brilliance, all of it blasting towards the blood, making it evaporate, burning it up. And the male was shocked. His body shook intensely. He displayed the most powerful forbidden secret methods, starting to attack. His entire body rushed over. At the same time, the white-clothed woman summoned back the immortal sword. The sword radiance restrained itself, immortal sword taking form, becoming a precious pitcher becoming one with the pitcher made of light produced from the woman's imprints. It was called a pitcher, but it was also like a jar. Beautiful symbols covered its surface, undying aura spreading from it. Chaotic mist and immortal light continuously flowed out from the pitcher's opening. This time, the precious pitcher no longer released divine force, but rather began to devour and suck in. The blood radiance that filled the skies, as well as the other party's divine abilities and secret techniques were all collected inside. It seemed like it was going to devour the skies, able to hold and refine anything. That male's expression changed, his body shaking greatly. 
It was because he discovered with shock that his body's injuries all began to open up, blood rushing out like a waterfall towards that precious pitcher. He knew that this woman was using actions to reply to his words. He had said that the more blood that flowed, the worse it would be for his enemies. But now, the white-clad woman was going to collect all of his blood. Break for me, the male shouted. As soon as this voice fell, not only was the absorption force stopped, it would also sever karma, hack apart heaven and earth, temporarily cutting off the relationship between that woman and himself. Otherwise, he really did fear that all of his blood would wither up, completely sucked dry. Hong. A cold snort sounded. The white-clothed woman was exceptional, her on not tolerating any blasphemy. With a move of her hands, the precious pitcher in her hands surged with endless brilliance, covering heaven and earth. Hong Long. Immediately afterwards, the male was struck by the radiance, his entire body flying out. The armor covering his body completely ruptured, body splitting apart, smashing into the upper reaches and the source of the long river of history. You, he roared furiously. How humiliating was this? He was actually blasted through by this woman. The immortal gold armor exploded. What kind of power was this? Just how many people in this world could destroy immortal Tao magical artifacts like this? However, this white-clothed woman did precisely this, her sacred and pure bearing not something that can be blasphemed. In the brilliant reign of light, there were some immortal gold fragments that flew towards the metal construct ruins. The woman seated across from Shur Hao waved her sleeve, accepting the fragments, revealing a happy expression. It was because these were the, the traces left behind by a confrontation between two extremely powerful individuals, recording their grand battle. They possess tremendous value, and once researched thoroughly, can be used to comprehend the Tao. In the distance, the male released an angry roar, unwilling to accept this conclusion. While carrying heaven overflowing killing intent, he was smashed towards the source of the long river of history. His entire body broke apart into pieces, already blasted through. Stop. The male roared. He operated great divine abilities, displaying immeasurable ancient heavenly arts, wishing to stop this momentum. He didn't want to be eliminated by the other party like this, to be blasted back to the endless past. Hong. In the lower reaches of the long river of time, that white-clothed woman held the precious pitcher in hand. On it carved exceptional beauties and flying immortals, carrying tears and endless light. At this moment, the force of immortal tribulation surged. This type of immortal tribulation wasn't the immortal force of normal meaning, but rather carried a type of strange profound mystery. In this world, once once brought about multicolored light, wishing to ascend to immortality, a bloody disaster would inevitably descend to interfere, an endless calamity descending. This type of immortal tribulation, instead of calling it a type of natural law, it was better to call it a type of immortal eradicating calamity. Following the great Tao Pitcher's eruption, the light was endless, completely refining the blood essence that was sucked out from that male's body, using it as a type of replenishment to release this attack. This strike was incomparable. That monarch-like male had just gathered symbols, about to use heaven-reaching power, but all of it was scattered. Ah. He released a loud cry. This time, he really was blasted until he broke apart, his entire body crumbling into several pieces flying towards the limits of the long history of time. Blood scattered down. He no longer had any of the arrogance he had before, just letting the blood scatter down, not saying anything like the more divine blood he lost, the more miserable his opponent would be. He was defeated just like that? Sure how found this a bit hard to believe. One had to understand that this was an unmatched expert from the endless past. He went on a mental journey through the great emptiness, sensing him from the distant past to kill him. How frightening was a person like this? It was simply incomparable, able to affect the future from the past, who could face someone like him? Yet now, he was beaten to such a sorry state, his current condition quite miserable, beaten until his flesh was splitting apart, a single mistake resulting in the death of body and spirit. He won't die from this. After all, his body is in the endless past, what came over not his true body. The woman on the other side of Sherhouse sighed. In? Sure how was confused. A magical body that traveled through the long river of time, fighting while wearing a set of armor. His true body is still in the ancient past, not moving out. Otherwise, do you really think he would suffer this type of conclusion? The woman said. Based on what she said, no one dared to rashly move the true body, 
the karma too great. Despite this being the case, moving a magical body would still bring about a great disaster onto themselves, needing to pay a tremendous price, most likely dragging the main body down as well. This was especially the case now where the male was defeated, the situation for him even worse. His true body might have very well have died in the past. When sure how heard her explanation, he couldn't help but suck in a cold breath of air. This was terrifying after all. If one wanted to affect the past or future, one had to use their own lives as the price. He made it sound easy, not being tainted by karma, showing disregard for the long history of time, hung. That's simply impossible. The woman on the other side of the stone table said, Dong. Suddenly, under the precious pitcher's bombardment, that male couldn't condense and remain whole anymore, blasted to pieces. His body fell towards the limits of the long river of time. Ocean sprays splashed out again and again. He fell into the water, unable to get up again, clearly eliminated. Ho! Oh. From the distant past, a tremendous roar sounded, erupting loudly, shaking the heavens above and the earth below. That roar was precisely immortal ancient great era's last years, the end of the great battle, the dust already settled. Regardless of whether it was the defeated or the victorious side, they were both extremely confused, not understanding why there was this type of muffled roar. The figure that sat in an ancient palace was originally unmoving like a statue, but at this moment, the space between his brows ruptured, blood spilling out. Heavens, a great figure's divine image is breaking apart. What is going on? This was a cry of alarm that sounded from endless years ago, this event not recorded, not leaving behind anything. In this era, there was even less of a chance of anyone knowing. However, right now, Shurhau was sitting in these ruins, stupefied as he thought about the scene that just happened. What exactly happened? Was that male killed just like this? He looked towards the white-clad beauty. This woman was too extraordinary, unimaginable, simply like the most stunning immortal queen as she stood in this world, impossible to match. She was just this stunning, surpassing past and present. A monarch from the past wished to kill someone in the present, yet in the end, this kind of woman appeared, cleanly and swiftly eliminating the other party. Kill. Suddenly, a sound wave transmitted over from the limits of the long river of time, flooding over like a great sea, rumbling like landslides. It also resembled the downpour of an endless sea of stars. This type of fluctuation was too frightening, making the long river of time surge, rage violently, simply unimaginable. One could clearly see that at the upper reaches of the long river of time, an ancient temple appeared, sitting inside a single individual, precisely the male who was just defeated. His true body is coming. The woman sitting on the other side of the stone was shocked. The true body was appearing. Didn't that mean that he came with the resolution of dying in battle? If his true body was tainted by karma, then he would definitely fall. Hasn't truly arrived yet. Sure how sad. That ancient temple merely took form there. A male sat in the ancient past, ice-cold eyes opening, the green radiance sharp and terrifying. Want another go? I'll help you pass on. The white-clothed woman only spoke this line. In the ancient temple, that male shone. Sutras were chanted from his mouth shaking up the endless river of time. Great stars flickered about one after another, revolving around him. He seemed to have become the center of the universe, an endless river of stars appearing, circling about him, making him look dignified and holy, as if his will couldn't be defied. At the lower reaches of the long river, that white-clothed woman formed magical imprints, activating the precious pitcher in her hands, about to attack again. However, her body suddenly trembled, Soon afterwards, Shurhau also sensed something, starting to shiver in fear. He felt as if his soul was going to fade away, unable to move a single step. The woman on the other side of him was also incomparably horrified. At the upper reaches of the long river of time, as that monarch-like male in the ancient temple chanted sutras, black haze appeared bit by bit, surging over from the endless heavens. In that instant, his surroundings became pitch black, almost nothing visible. Right at this moment, an enormous shadow appeared behind him, able to support heaven and earth, towering in this world, about to blast this heavenly dome apart. He was just too large, difficult to see the end. The stellar river, compared to him, was just like a fine hair. He towered there just like that, unmoving, his figure blurry and hard to make out. It was as if matchless devil whose might oppressed the past, present, and future descended into this world. 
Comparatively, the male seated in the ancient temple really was too small. Previously, he also towered in the heavenly dome, incredibly tall and large, but compared to this shadow, he was just too small. At this moment, even the white-clothed woman in the lower reaches couldn't maintain her previous calmness. Her eyes erupted with divine radiance, becoming like an empress who ruled and overlooked the world beneath the sky. The most divine and imposing aura was released from her figure. Her expression was serious as she stared forward, saying, I've witnessed another facet. No wonder the future was so difficult, so bitter, full of blood and flames. Even she spoke like this, so one could imagine just how difficult it was in the future. She managed to see something from the black mist. Immediately afterwards, the white-clothed woman's expression changed, because that place was becoming more and more dark, the black haze that descended from the heavens even more concentrated, about to form a second black figure, vague and indistinct. Similarly vast. Moreover, the first shadow began to move, about to slaughter its way over. That type of aura, that type of pressure, it was simply unimaginable, about to destroy everything, making the white-clothed woman in the lower reaches incredibly serious, as if she was facing a great enemy. She released a light scoff, and then operated an extremely terrifying heavenly art. Her entire body shone, another self unexpectedly rushing out from her flesh, floating above her, continuously forming imprints. That was like a rebirth, recreating the true self, a self that transcended the self, matchless and unrivaled. Pong. She displayed the most powerful strike forward. The heavens collapsed, earth ruptured, long river of time starting to break apart. The stars of history fell one after another. She took action with full strength, continuously forming imprints to attack. Hong Long Long. Eventually, the long river of history seemed to have gone out of control, surging viciously, in absolute chaos, immediately thrown into disorder. This meant that everything was now becoming chaotic. When things calmed down again, in the upper reaches of the long river, the ancient temple disappeared, the shadows no longer visible, peace returning to that place. In the lower reaches, blood flowed out from the corners of the white-clothed woman's mouth, the bit of bright red an alarming sight. Blood dyed her clothes red, looking quite bleak. She was injured. What happened? Sure how asked. Just now, he couldn't see through the truth at all, not understanding what the current situation was like. On the other side of the stone table, that woman thought to herself, and then frowned, saying, she severed the long river, disturbing the past, stopping the darkness from arriving. This was already enough to speak about the severity of the issue. The white-clothed woman didn't allow the shadows to truly appear, not fighting a decisive battle against them. No one can easily step on the long river of time, some things can be done once, twice, but not a third time. Now that she took action like this, interfering with the past, those people cannot take action again. The woman on the other side of the stone table explained, at the same time trying to figure things out, because these were all her speculations. The white-clothed woman will have to pay a tremendous price for this. She then added. Then, she frowned again, as if there was something she just couldn't understand. But it still doesn't really seem right. Specks of light scattered over, wrapping around Sher Hao, as if separating him from the long river, not allowing him to be tainted by karma. Then, the rain of light disappeared. I understand, she has taken action to free you, not involving you in the complications. The woman beside the stone table said while looking at Sher Hao, now understanding. Sher Hao was stunned. He looked at that white-clothed woman, and then at the limits of the long river's upper reaches. I've finally seen for myself. Born in this world, your journey is more difficult than any other, more bitter than all, needing to face the endless years alone, the white-clothed woman spoke, looking towards Sherhal. Her white clothes fluttered about, stained by a bit of blood, looking a bit sad, but also extremely otherworldly. Beautiful hair scattered down her shoulders, incredibly moving and beautiful. Right now, she was calm, restoring her aloof and pure aura. The true self that was created returned to the body, immortal light restrained. Her gaze was calm, no longer domineering and penetrating like before. The woman's voice was gentle, becoming completely different from when she was fighting. When she spoke to Sher Hao, there was clearly a special type of emotion. Sher Hao wanted to see her clearly, remember her, but it was too blurry, too hazy. Even without the face mask, he still couldn't see everything clearly. Goodbye. Goodbye. The white-clothed woman said softly, 
her body gradually growing dim, turning into a rain of light, thus disappearing from this place.